precision seafood harvesting is the use of a modular harvest system which captures the fish in water so the fish can stay alive, stay oriented, stay swimming. In that way, with the fish in control of its own movements, we can actually attract fish that we want to retain in the harvest system to safe areas and we can find escapement mechanisms for fish that we want to exclude from the harvest. We eject the ones that we don't want at depth, which is the best place for them to be ejected, and then the ones that uh, either we do want to come to the surface or inadvertently come to the surface are in really good nick. You know, the Ministry of Primary Industries um, sees it as a, a hugely promising solution to a lot of the, if you like, the elephants in the room in terms of bycatch and discard. In the deep sea trawling industry, this is the biggest innovation since the 1930s when the diesel engine was put into trawls. We've made a career out of trying to demonstrate that this is, you know, that you look after the animal and they will look after you. It's putting, it's putting the animal right in the middle of the business model. You know, it's, it's good business to look after your animals. Yeah, so we want it on every boat. We want to um, put it into our joint ventures where our partners fish, and then we want to license and sell the technology to other fishing companies. We're projecting 100 million a year. Um, so that's an outstandingly large amount of money for an industry where our total export earnings are only 1.5 billion. It's, it's Plant and Food's job to bring a fresh set of eyes to the seafood industry's problems. Uh, you know, we're there to look 5, 10, 30 years out or 40 years out. But when a business like Sea Lord you know, finds someone like Alistair with those capabilities, to get him behind him commercially and to back him, and then to take that invention and be able to commercialise and roll it out to the world. It's just one of those great opportunities in your career, you don't come across them very often. I think it puts us on the map as being the world leaders in deep water fishing. This is going to be the biggest thing out of the seafood industry in New Zealand. It will change New Zealand's fishing industry.